Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now we all know about the new system, the event binding system, and I thought it was rather good. Hello there Bully. And today I wanted to talk about how they could make it better, because it's definitely not perfect, that's for sure. And um, I wanted to discuss what could make it better. Now before we get into it, if I haven't mentioned one that you think is a good point, let me know in the comments below much appreciated who knows i might even agree with your point but anyway let's get started so i've already switched the system over and we're just going to use this trigger for an example and we will literally grab another trigger over here now you can see that it says trigger and then this one will say trigger two okay so then what is this one gonna be no that's triggered and then why why where's trigger one trigger one very confusing Wait, there's literally no other trigger okay whatever whatever but to now link them we have to add a device with the device name let's say trigger two the other one and then we choose what function and then of course if we paste this or copy and paste it it will save the mechanics within it which is great but the most annoying part about this new system is needing to change the name you know what if i have a hundred triggers beside each other only one of them is to do with throwing i don't know a chiller out of a bot how are they all going to be called trigger and i'll know what one that is we have to go and how many, how many buttons we got to click here we got to go one two three technically four to get into this delete that five definitely more on a console by the way type it in which is a bunch of letters but we'll not talk about the letters because they don't really count we'll just call it chiller for now then we have to click save which is six wait for, for some reason forever don't remember that and then number seven we got to click okay and then that's changed the name this this is what should happen okay the, those triggers behind me are not there 100 we place this down oh we've got a little menu that appears on the screen well Let's just uh, type in chiller here and click enter. Done. Now, you might think, oh, that's a, that's a pretty good idea to some of you. Others may not like that idea because you might just want to quickly paste the device down. That's going to appear every time and still slow down your work. So you can go ahead and open your phone and enable a setting to make it appear and disappear if you want it on, if you don't want it on, because it just depends with different scenarios. But I think that one mechanic would make this so much better. Now, the other one is, let's actually not use this map. Let's move into my winter map. Okay, so once we enter this map, and let's just have a go on a device down here, because I'm pretty sure there's a couple. Yes, let's go into this trigger right here. You can see I've already named it Slip and Slide. You can go ahead and watch that video. But first of all, look at all of these. It has to enable all of those teleporters. We need to be able to put devices into categories so i could put all of those teleporters together into sns teleporter group and then i can go in here and say no i don't want to delete that never mind but i would click on that and choose the category which would include all of these devices it would just make it so much easier and then of course when we enable uh, let's let's add another one it goes all the way to the bottom here we have to scroll through all of these and they're not even in alphabetical order or nothing it's very unorganized and i don't why is there a buffer what why is there a buffer when you're scrolling that's pretty stupid but um i really think we need to have some sort of category system to fill this in and make it 100 times better but anyway i think those three features and definitely making this at least alphabetical order would make this new system so much better but i am loving it i'm getting used to it those extra features again would just make life so much easier and make the whole system quicker what do you guys think in the comments if you agree why not subscribe because we do video every single day we might be stopping that very soon but we will be bringing out more quality content which is what everyone wants really right i want it i don't know if you want it maybe maybe not you let me know in the comments but i'll see you all in the next one everyone subscribe like and goodbye